President Tinubu taxes Nigerians like he did in Lagos, despite worsening poverty. His economic team looks more like tax collectors than economists, not an edda, you see. Usman said this when he appeared on Channel TV's live program, monitored by Sahara reporters on Sunday evening, added that Tinubu's government is more concerned about making Nigerians. This is really sad. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you. The former executive secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme and the member of the Northern Edders Forum, NEF, Professor Usma Yusuf, has tackled the government of Bola Tinubu for overtaxing Nigerians despite the social economic challenges his policies have caused in the country. Usman said this when he appeared on Channel's TV live program, monitored by Sahara reporters on Sunday evening, adding that Tinubu's government is more concerned about making Nigerians. According to him, the government is not bothered about the country's growth. He said the government failed, policies had increased, the poverty level and illiteracy rates in the country, but he does not stop the government from exploring ways to tax the citizens from, uh, for their money. He said people have lost hope. It pains me to see our people lining up to collect cups of palliatives. Renewed hope has turned into hopelessness. People have lost hope. The last, the last one year has been a year of nothing but deception, the destitution and the hopelessness. From next week, they will start telling us their propaganda. What have they done to benefit the ordinary Nigerians? In a span of, span of one year, they have brought millions of people back into multidimensional poverty. They have pushed millions more children out of school because their parents cannot pay school fees. Many more people are hungry in one year. What have you done? He asked. I want the government to tell us so. Don't give me the story about they are just floating the dollars. It is all about deception. You increase the taxes, you hike the interest rates, you borrowed money thinking you will jump the you will pump the naira artificially. You keep taxing everybody. This is exactly what the president did in Lagos. The economic team to me looks more like tax collectors than economists. Taxation does not grow the economy. Only production does, he added. Sahara reporters reported last week that Tenubu's government mandated that all users of federal airports across the country must start paying tolls at airport gates. But some Lagos state residents on, uh, on, on Friday raised the alarm over ongoing uh, rockets, racketing bringing uh, perpetrated by officials of Matala Mohammed International Airport as they complied with President Tinubu's order of toll collection. Uh, speaking to Sahara reporters on how officials of MMA in Lagos State were compiling with, com uh, complying with presidential order to residents who always commute to the airport said the officials deliberately allowed one payment points despite having thousands of cars going to the airport daily. The resident said the officials did this as a pathway of extortion. He said the officials did not also allow any electronic payments except cash payments. <laughs> well, hey, hey, this is just the beginning. No? This is just the beginning the worst government in the history of Nigeria. The worst government in the history of Nigeria, whether we like it or not. If we like, let's be using uh, 
what is it called, tribalism, to cover up what is going on. But this is the fact. This is a taxing regime. That is it. This is a taxi regime. Regime eh, Very soon, eh, market women too, they are going to be paying to the federal government. Everybody will be paying to the federal government. This is what they use, you know, in their campaign. President Bola Metinubu, why he was the governor of Lagos, he built Lagos. Uh -huh. He built Lagos. So, make anybody not com complain, no, because he's, he's, he's building Nigeria. Thank God you knew that that was how he, that was what he did in Lagos. So, he's now doing it in Nigeria. Tinubu did not miss words when he said he's going to, you know, uh, follow the footsteps of his presidential. Nigerians have to get ready for the wars to come, not because, but that is the truth. Truth must be said, no matter who, who, who is saying it. This man just said the truth. You get it. <laughs> so sometimes, eh, you just have to leave the messenger and look into the message. Why I'm saying this is because of what people are saying here in the comment section. The same thing that is happening right now, the same thing happened when President Muhammad Buhari was there, when people were, you know, identifying some things that are not right. We hear people who say, eh, for what? You want to undermine our brother's regime, this, this, and that, leave him. He will finish his tenure and all that. Today, where are we today? Everybody is lamenting. We have started again. People are now saying, when President Muhammad Buhari was there, did he not do? Allow him to do. So because President uh, Muhammad Buhari did the whole, so another person that is coming should just go like that. I beg, waiting now. Make a drop on for here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you.